Hello Stampers! Welcome to the Craft Room. In today's video, I would like to show you a project that was very much inspired by my online friend Lorraine. I had posted a picture on my blog of a bowl that I keep in the sink that I use to gather all of the compost scrapings. So anytime we're making um, a stir-fry or any kind of cooking and we have leftover vegetable peelings and things, we put them into that compost bowl. And I noticed last week how beautiful that bowl actually looked with some of the vegetable cuttings that were in there. And one of the things that was in there were these ends of some bok choy that had been used for a stir-fry that we had made. So when I posted that photograph, Lorraine left a comment and she said, wow, I bet you can make beautiful roses with that bok choy. And that's what inspired this card. So I'd like to show you very quickly how I went ahead and made this very simple bok choy stamped thinking of you card. So let's get started. You're going to need some bok choy and you could also use other vegetables to create other stamped images um, but these are just the bases from the bok choy. We ate all of the leaves and you can see here very quickly what it is that I did. So all we're going to do is take a piece of Whisper White cardstock and I just folded this in half. This is four and a quarter by eleven inches and just fold it in half and we're going to be using some rose red classic ink and because this bok choy was cut pretty straight it's created a very nice flat surface for stamping so you just want to kind of hold it together and we're just going to ink up our bok choy base and go ahead and just stamp that right onto our card and you can press your bok choy pretty hard uh, it's pretty sturdy and I'm going to go ahead and make another vegetable print here and again you can turn your bok choy however you like it and stamp and pick it up and put it down one more time and give it a nice press and pick it up and there we have three beautiful roses you can do other colors as well one thing I did do my bok choy was quite wet and saturated when it was first cut so I just left it overnight on a paper towel sitting like this to try to get that paper towel to absorb some of the moisture out of the bok choy so that it would be easier to stamp with. And the last thing we're going to do for this card is just add our greeting. So I'm just taking some Jet Black Stays On and this greeting stamp from Sincere Salutations that says Thinking of You and just stamping that down here toward the bottom of my card. And that's how simple your bok choy stamping is. You could go crazy with any kind of vegetable, creating different stamped images. And I've also created here a sheet of background paper using Pretty in Pink and also the Rose Red. And then once I stamped with the Rose Red, I went ahead and stamped it half strength as well. So kind of have three different colors of pink or rose on this paper, which I can now cut up and use for other cards. So there you have it, a really fun way and hopefully a new way to look at your vegetables or peelings that are ready for your compost bin to create some beautiful stamped roses on your cards. I hope you've enjoyed this project and I look forward to seeing you again very soon here in the craft room.